guys and welcome to today's make along um, with me Lisa Jones I'm one of the product designers here at Sizzix and one of my main jobs is designing dies stamps and embossing folders for you guys um, today I'm going to be showing you one of Rose's sets um, so Olivia Rose has been working with us for many years you'll have seen her little logo on many die sets um, and this one is a really cute interactive card um, design and is called a multi-phrase pop-up so it's really clever you can mix and match the sentiments um, in there and it's it looks like it's hard work but it's really easy to put together and so many different options you can do with it as well so I'm going to show you how to use it and what you get in the set so you're getting 19 dies in this set, which is really great value for money. Um, you're getting this main piece here, which is the um, your base card. Um, and then you've got these panels here that, this is so clever, you drop them into these spaces on the main die. So you can mix and match these. Some of them work differently together. Some of them just is one sentiment. Um, so you've got like uh, the best day ever. You've got winter wishes. You've got... Um, Oh, what joy or what fun. Um, so yeah, you've got four different kind of the thinner ones that go in this top bottom bit there. And then four of those ones as well. So I'll show you how to place those and how to cut them in the next step. But also in the set, you're getting a lot of these cute little characters. Um, we've got a an owl here and we've got a bear and we've got a Christmas tree. Um, and there's also some like um, gifts and little extra elements. And what I'm going to show you is how to make this card here. So this one I've made for Christmas, um, but it's not just Christmas you can make with this. You can make it for any kind of occasions. But today I thought I'm going to get festive and make this kind of fun wintry scene. So I've already got that pre-folded here because I thought just for the camera it's going to be hard for you to see on white card. So what I'm going to do is show you just on this green card just so that it's clearer how to use the base um, die and how to use these um, elements that go in there. So I'm going to bring my platform here into shot and then I'm going to put my card down with the texture side up and then this one you need to put it down this way and then if you see, look on the embellished image on the packaging you'll be able to see that the top line is always the thinnest one so the smaller text is the top one so if you're thinking you know which way up does it go that's kind of like how I remember so for this one I'm going to use the winter wish so I've got my dies here so that one fits perfectly in that little slot there and then this one as well just make sure that you're putting them the right way up so it's not upside down so you kind of as if you're reading it and then they fit perfectly but if you wanted to make it a little bit more secure you can use our makers tape just to make sure that it doesn't go on an angle or um, you know your text might be a bit off that way but you really don't need it um, they are fitting perfectly in there and then you just run it through so it'll cut in one go you. it's a lot of dye so lots of cranking noises but that's all normal so you will see now what you've got so it should come all out nicely okay so you can see this is what you're getting. So you're getting some really nice cut stitch detail around the edges. You're getting a crease rule across the middle here that shows you where to kind of fold it in half. And then all of this piece here is the step kind of pop-up element. And it, it is meant to cut the two sides like this to make that kind of pop-up element able to happen. Um, so I'm gonna just use my die pick to get rid of all these extra little pieces here. And then you'll see the text take shape there. So I was worried that I would probably do it upside down in the video or something, but it looks like I've done it right. So you can't really go wrong. And like I said, you can mix and match these sentiments based on the occasion that you're making for. So then that is what we've got. So I'm going to start off by just folding the, um, the actual card crease here. So I am going to use just a, a ruler just to kind of help me line that up and make sure that I'm getting it straight. So this one is actually Jess's ruler, so I'll have to remember to put that back. <laughs> um, so just pushing it up against the ruler just means I've got that kind of straight crease happening there. 
and there we go and then if you are unsure you can look at the packaging we have got the embellished image on the front we have also got some step outs inside the packaging as well and um, that does give you a few um, tips like visual tips on how this works um, but you can see from here that the kind of angle of how you need to fold them so from the top this needs to fold firstly kind of so that it comes outwards then it needs to go down and just a note on this because the text is quite close to the crease roll um, you don't want to fold with the text you need to fold with the crease roll so if you are struggling with that um, you can use the ruler again to kind of help you align that um, so you can see there there's a crease rule and then you've got the text so I would push up against the crease rule and then just fold it like that and you can always go from the back to push that in further and then you just keep folding until you've got your steps um, and then you'll see then how this all folds together and then this last step here needs to fold like that so you're thinking of it as stairs you need to fold um, in opposite directions so you can use our fold and form um, tool just to make sure that you're getting that kind of crease um, deep enough so if you want to go over it afterwards you can kind of get that um, fold so let's see and there we have it so you can see how it goes down in steps like that and you can obviously take a bit more time to get this as neat as you can and then when it folds up it will all go together like this so then once you've got your um, steps you can like squish it down like this and make it sturdy and then it'll pop up like that for your steps so that is what I've done already in white um, in like shiny white opulent cardstock I thought this would be a really nice one for Christmas um, and then these do actually fit um, in our Sizzix cards and envelopes so what I've done with this one is I've just lined the front with a dark color just to complement this and then that is how um, this would sit in the card but I'm not done yet I need to work on all of the extra little elements I can add to this and um, before sticking it in place um, so I've already pre-cut a lot of these little characters so I've got this polar bear here holding a gift so I've used the silver and ivory opulent cardstock here for this theme I've got a few extra gifts here and then I've got a Christmas tree here so I've got all of these elements separate so I'm just going to glue those down together to show you so I've already got some express glue over here so I'll just bring that in And all of these separate elements are grouped really handily on the die. So you can see here so that all the tree has got all those elements on the same die and all the bear with the layering elements as well. Um, so there's really a lot of, lot of stuff you're getting in this set. Okay, so I've got all my elements there. And then you're probably wondering what were these last two dies here what do they do um, so these just cut a strip with some crease rules along there like this so i do need to cut one more actually so i've just got my card um i'll do this one in silver so it'll just show you um really detailed what kind of what crease rules you're getting on here and what it's for just cut these okay, and there's two different sizes as well and what these are for is um, you're going to be creating the elements but like making those pop out as well oh that's here <laughs> So yeah, there's two different sizes and they've got these crease rules and then it's got a tab. So all you need to do is fold them together to create your rectangles, like so. And then I'm just gonna pop some glue on the edge here and just stick that together. And then the same with the smaller one. So what these do, you can stick the elements like to the back of your card if you wanted them flat, um, but this here just gives um, a little bit of dimension to the elements as well that you can 
place where you want to and this mechanism means that it will open and close with the rest of the card. So when you've got these two sizes, you can then either um, have them so that they are sticking out more or you can also have them going the other way so they're a bit nearer so what you're doing is like building up a little bit of a scene and um, so some are like further away and some are nearer and it's just a really cute little way and because you'll only glue, be gluing the bottom and the edge the rest of it will kind of fall together um, at the end so you'll see you'll have to trust me on this one okay so I've got all my elements um, I'm going to stick this in my card first and then decorate it from there. So I'm going to use the adhesive roller, I think, to keep this nice and clean. So I'm just going to go around the edges with this. And also the inside here as well, just to make sure that's stuck in place. Okay. And then what you need to do is just get that fold in the center and stick it all down. And then that should be ready. Okay, so now we can just do the fun bits with the decorating. So these are all the little bits that I've got and I've got my little steps here. So I'm just gonna put all of this together now. I think I'm done with the decorating so I've added a little gift on this side and I've put these two here as well to the edges and then I've used the little bunting on there as well so this should all now fold nicely together so that will fit in your envelope you can send it in the post and then open up like that how cute is that it's so nice and so nice that you can use different occasions um, with the sentiments as well so I'm just going to grab a couple of other examples that I've done for you um, so here are some more pop-ups so I've got every color going just to show you what you can make so this one says time for fun and I've used the bear element with the balloons and the owl as well so that's a fun little um, birthday card I'd say uh, this one, Oh What Joy, again, like a really nice kind of bright colour scheme using the owl and some of the heart elements on there. And these are all on the 3D elements. Oops, so if I close all that up, and there we go. So these are like slimline cards, but then again, like I said, you can put them in full-size cards if you want more room to kind of write your message. Um, like this one, I've kind of left blank so I can write my message in here for this one, for this birthday one, best day ever. And then we've got a Christmassy one with a tree, just in a different colour scheme. And again, for this one. So, so many options there, but you are getting a lot of these little elements in the set as well. So, I have made some cards using just those. So, if you don't want to do the pop-up card every time, there's lots of other options you can do. So, this one is just a really simple birthday card using the bear. This one is a Christmas card, but how cute is that? I've used the bears, um, I've cut them twice out of different coloured Opland cardstock, and then I've embossed this um, stamp at the bottom there for a little sentiment. So that one's really cute. This one is actually made by Jen Ogborne, so I roped her into helping me this morning um, to make a few different ones. And this one's just using the Christmas tree one, but in a rainbow colour scheme um, with another stamp, stamp sentiment at the bottom. So that one's really cute. 
and this one using our festive pattern paper and just the owl for a simple all occasions card. So you can see the, the variation that you can make with this set. Um, so once you've mastered doing the pop-ups, you can then also just use the elements by themselves as well. So if there is any other dies that you'd like us to kind of talk you through like this and walk you through how to put them together, just drop a comment um, on this video and like we'll, we'll pick it up and we'll take it all on board. Um, but for now, hopefully that has shown you um, how to use this particular one. So thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.